Hi and welcome back to the next lesson. In this lesson we will continue to build out this table here with the pre and the post mitigation uh, defect or work order counts. So what we're going to do now is we are building the, the we've got the pre count, we've got the post count and we now need to look at the difference between the pre and the post count. So to do that we're going to go in here and just make sure we've got something selected in here so that the measure is created within this table here and we're going to create a new measure. And it's going to be a pretty straightforward measure. It's just going to basically be the difference between the pre and the post. So I'll just paste this in here. So it's going to be work order count pre post mitigation by risk ranking by risk rank. And it's going to be the count of the work orders post mitigation minus the count of the work orders pre mitigation. So that's quite straightforward. And once we've got that, we can just click on this button here and I'll just add it in. And we'll put in, just call it diff. Okay, so let's check how it works. So this one here at 20, we have got minus three. This one is minus one, a reduction of one from, um, from one to zero, et cetera, et cetera. So 27 to 19, uh, 27 to eight minus 19. So that's gonna be the difference there. So the next one is on to the difference as a percentage. So let's add a new measure. Again, we'll just add that in. So work order count pre post mitigation by risk ranking or well, percentage by risk ranking. So what we're done here is we're going to use this function here called divide. And the divide function really just takes a numerator and a denominator and it just handles the, the the divide by zero um, cases that you can sometimes get if the denominator is zero um, or the numerator by, by um. so anyway yeah it deals with that so we've got the work order count pre post mitigation so that's looking at this difference here that we've just actually added to the chart divided by what the value was pre mitigation so what this value was here and that's going to give us our percentage difference between the pre and post mitigation now we probably need to go and configure that to be a percentage. Let's just press this percentage button. And I think two decimal places is probably overkill, but let's see how it looks. So we'll add that in here. And we'll just change that to diff percent. There we go. Right, so yeah, we can probably get away with one decimal place. Um, we don't need to be that accurate for this. So let's just move that down to one. Probably even zero if we wanted to actually. We just need to be, um, yeah, zero's fine. Um, so here we can see this has gone from four to three, minus three, minus 75%. One to zero, minus 100%, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. Now the ones that, this is the, the higher risk rankings. So you would expect, which is good to see some of these be mitigated and these these negative figures indicate that's the case however they've got to go somewhere so you can see that the lower ones four three two and one have all got positive um, differences so they are basically increasing after mitigation being put in place which you we would expect so that's great Okay, so that is pretty much it for the the adding of the measures. So let's go and in the next lesson, look at formatting this table. I'll talk to you then.